Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, so today's video, we're going to start tearing apart this CR500 motor. Um, we're going to hopefully get down to the case, split the casing, and uh, check out all the gears and whatnot. Maybe see if we can figure out why this bike locked up on us that time. Um, but like I said, it's going to be a pretty fresh cylinder and piston rebuilding the top end. So let's go ahead and uh, start tearing this thing apart, see if we can figure out what was going on. As you can see, we took our head and cylinder off. There's the big 500 piston, still in great shape. Take a look at the cylinder. As you can tell, it was a fresh rebuild not too long, well, years ago, but was well, some in the bottom end, I believe. Nothing to do with the rebuild.
stinks. Whew. All right, guys, so it's the next day. I just wanted to go ahead and uh, refilm me pulling the gears out of the uh, transmission on the lower end of the CR500 motor. Um, if you can see right here, this one guide shaft is not pushed all the way in. This is actually what was the problem in our motor. We do have a bend in this uh, guide rod. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling this stuff out. Also a little bit out of order in the video, I finally did get the crank knocked out um, once I had all my gears and stuff loose. But anyway, I just want to real quick uh, refilm this, pulling these gears out to show you guys and get a little bit better video. So you can see we got the rest of the parts to our motor out on the table. But anyway, I'm gonna uh, strap on this camera, hopefully get a little bit better angle this time. And it's gonna be real easy to pull these gears out now that we don't have a bent rod. Um, this um, fork guider would not even slide on this rod. That's how bent and seized up it was. So without being able to pull that, it was a real hassle uh, pulling these gears out. I kind of like had to do it in layers as opposed to being able to pull it all out in one unit. Anyway, guys, we're gonna slap on the camera, get at it. Get a little bit better uh, video for you. Now that we know what the issue is on the engine, we're gonna be able to order that part, get that figured out. I did run into some issues as well, uh, splitting this motor because the actual bearings themselves uh, wanted to sit on the crank. As so you can see, they actually started to pull out the block with the crank, as well as here, you can see this bearing is still uh, actually mounted on the crank. But anyway, guys, that's enough talk. We're gonna go ahead and get these uh, couple gears pulled out. All right, so here we go. We got some fresh gloves on. Now that we know what the problem is, and that pin is already slid out some, there should be a breeze pulling these gears out. But once again, guys, if you're doing this for your first time, it's always good practice to take things off and put them back in and really get uh, comfortable with what you're doing. If this is your first time, it's also a learning process as you go. But anyway, now that this rod is halfway pulled out, that guide rod just pulls. The first time I went to pull, this actual fork was jammed up where this bend is. So now that that's free, it should disassemble like it should have the first time, even though we dug into uh, all those issues. So now we'll be able to just take our forks right on out. Pop this guide rod out, pull this one to the side. Then our drum should pop right out. Take our other little guider. There we go. So this was our top one here. And when we first pulled this out, this rod got bent. So that fork was seized up on there. And that's what gave us such an issue uh, pulling the gears the first time. So I want to re go ahead and film this. So it was a lot better quality video. You can see I already got zip ties here on my washers and everything like that. So we're gonna be able to go ahead and pull both of these gears out at one time, all the gears in the transmission. That should pop just right out. Now on this front side, there is no washer, but on this back side here, I should have a, oh, here it is. Here's your washer. So we're just gonna go ahead and make sure we don't get everything out of order. And there's our gears to our transmission. So everything looks good as far as the gears go, but we're definitely gonna to have to replace that guide rod. Go ahead and set those down. We'll throw a zip tie on here so we don't lose any of these parts. There's our gears to our transmission. Case is split. Gonna have to start popping some bearings out, get some new bearings ordered. And uh, really this crank isn't so bad, but I do believe this is the original OEM crank. So after 30 years, we're gonna definitely go ahead and throw one of these, throw a new crank in while we got this motor split. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you back next time.